Big things coming to COD World War 2. I bet the community are excited. Of course, that's a top tweet. Of course. So, Sledgehammer Games today on Friday have praised us. They have blessed us with a big juicy stake of info. That gives me pretty excited for future of COD World or 2. Well, sort of, but there's some other stuff going on here. So, let's get into this. So, Sledgehammer slapped us in the face with paint jobs. So, uh, here's a, a spicy paint job that you can make in paint jobs whenever they're coming. So, there are some spicy stuff. Paint jobs does look pretty good. However, Sledgehammer Games have said that, yeah, maybe, maybe they messed up, teasing us that it would come in with the Resistance event or DLC, because apparently things aren't going too smoothly, and they're delaying it even further, so they're going to give us an ETA of when paint jobs are coming to the game, when things are actually working, which, once again, goes back to that point of, I'm worried about Sledgehammer Games, paint jobs. They're struggling to put paint jobs in this game. Now, I'm not hating. I'm just saying I'm, I'm worried about these lads. You know, I did make that video saying I'm worried about Sledgehammer because they're struggling to put stuff into the game. And then a few days after I made that video, the two people, the two people that made Sledgehammer games and the two people at the top of Sledgehammer games left the company. So, yeah, it looks like Sledgehammer are still struggling. And to get onto the other topic is Domination XL. So, Domination XL is literally just domination from every other COD, right? Where you get 100 points for a kill instead of 50, so you get your streaks much easier. Sledgehammer have said today that they're delaying Domination XL until the end of March. Lads, we're, what, the second, the third? They're delaying this another, another four weeks? They literally have to change the points that you get for a kill from 50... 100 and they what they talked about domination xl um when was it maybe january and here's the other thing in the beta the multiplayer beta the community complained about domination 50 so they put it up to normal they did that in the beta and now for the game they're they're delaying it another four weeks sledgehammer once again i'm not hating but i'm worried what's what's going on here man does does i mean i don't make games but like come on man like surely it's not that hard but moving on, they give us this image saying that an update in the next few weeks is going to give us new outfits and new weapons. So lads, that weapon right there is the MG81, it's a German LMG for those interested. And it, it looks like we're getting more black and gold uniforms. Hooray, hooray, question mark, I'm not even sure. Now actually, I want to mention that they don't talk about the score streak buffs, right? Before Condry upended and left, he talked about how they're going to look at every score streak, change some so they don't cost as much, and make some more powerful. They buffed the paratroopers, that was it, and but they, they haven't mentioned that change, score streak changes for a couple of weeks now, so I'm also worried that it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I'm not sure, but maybe it's coming soon, but they didn't talk about score streaks at all here. But yeah, new outfits and new weapons once again, coming pretty soon. Now, going back to Domination XL, they said that that's coming at the end of March after a new event. So, surprisingly, it looks like Emova Resistance event just ended at, at some point, I'm not even sure anymore. It looks like during this month, in the next few weeks, we're going to be getting another event, which I'm guessing is going to be like the spring event, the St. Patrick's Day event. So expect a um a, a spring-themed map. Is is that even a thing? A, a spring-themed headquarters? I, I, I don't, don't think that's going to be a thing. But yeah, a spring event like what we had in MWR is coming in the next few weeks, once again, I do I do like me some events, I do like me some events, not gonna lie. So guys, that was all the stuff we got from Sledgehammer, but it was quite a good juicy stake of info if you ask me, we got some intel, some insight into some things, and I'm gonna say, I'm pretty excited for the future. It looks like some of the community are as well, if you, <laughs> if you look at the tweet, uh, reply tweets to, uh, to this announcement. So stay spicy my friends, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>